Welcome back to my channel. Today I will be sharing new accessories that are launching a part of the Erin Condren Life Planner launch for 2023 to 2024. I have another video on my channel going over the A5 Daily Duo and Canvas Horizontal 7x9 planners. I will have more um, items next week um, when it is launched. The Life Planner Collection launches April 24th for EC Insiders and April 25th for the general public. I'll have links to everything down below on those days and I'll have a guide on my blog as per usual as well. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump right in to all these new Inspire accessories. So let's just start with what's up top. So we have these new writing tools variety pack. This will retail for $22.50. It is a 12 pack of pens. So you'll get dual tips and highlighters in the Inspire design based off of these colors. We can do a pen test at the end. I probably should have ended with this. I chose poorly. But <laughs> you have the main color schemes that are in this beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Inspire design. Again, $22.50 and you get everything. We have this magnetic to-do list dashboard. Now these are actually kind of fun because they're like a great bookmark. So just open her up. And so they open up and I'm gonna grab the Daily Duo because these two will look great. And if you just want a dashboard, right? Like on your cover, for example, so like I'm going to be using this for work and if I just want like a little overview of what's going on, I can put that here and I can have it or um, because you have your Monday through Sunday here, this is in rose gold, you have a priorities and a to do list section. If you want to use it to track where you're at, you can connect maybe like whatever day you're on with um, the monthly calendar so you can easily go back and forth right so we could do it this way and then you have a nice little bookmark in addition to um, a way to go in between two views or if you want to like separate your weekly note page with a daily page you can do that as well wherever you need i'll probably just keep this up front to be honest with you guys because i kind of like how that looks like I really like that and then I can easily um put like high priority things up here so I know what's going on at the beginning of the day when I open this up so we have that and then let's get into the everybody's favorite the ultimate planny pack so this will retail for $20.50 and it is the same design so you have your strap so you can attach whatever you need to your life planner. This one has rose gold accents that matches, of course, the cover. And why am I struggling with this? There we go. So here's what it looks like on your A5 planner. You can keep everything together. And when you open her up, you have some organization in here to put your pens or whatever you may need when you work or while you're on the go so that is the planny pack front pocket of course as well all right and then we have the new ballpoint pen which comes in this box this will i'm sorry this is a gel pen apparently so let's open her up So when you open this up, you have, again, rose gold accents. It is primarily purple, like the box. And it's a pretty soft, like, material. And here's what it looks like. And again, we'll do a pen test at the end of the video, because I know a lot of people aren't interested in pen tests. Um, so next up, we have 
this new accordion pouch. So this is different than the previous accordion pouches. So this has like a canvas material and um, you have, you can open them up. You have three sections and these are so large that I'm pretty sure you can fit this. Yeah, you can put this planning pack in here. So this is what you can use to store all of your um, new accessories. You have, of course, your Inspire Design. I want to say that pack of pens will fit in here in the case too. So yeah, you can fit everything in here. And then of course, because it's an accordion style, you can also fit bulkier items in here as well. So we have all of that. And then here's like what the pens look like in here. So plenty of room. And what I love is that it's like a subtle design, right? It's not like all over. Um, and this part is neutral. So you have that. Let's get into, let's see. Let's get into some stickers. Let's make some, let's see this new sticker book as well as the sheets that come in the back of the life planner. So these are the stickers that'll come in the back of your life planner. You can also purchase them separately for $8.50. It's called the um, 7 by 9 sticker pack. And I love the stickers that come in the back of the life planners. So they're very functional. I showed the canvas ones in my life planner video. So here are the Inspire for 7x9. And again, they're just so beautiful. Alright, so that is those. And then we have the new designer sticker book and it even says V Inspire on it. So let's open her up. It already looks gorgeous just by the back. And I don't know. Oh, that's cool. It opens pretty quickly. I was like, what is that? Okay. So that's, oh, this is such a cute sticker book. Like I love this way. Like this theme with like a light, like beige-ish peach, not peach, uh, but like a light beige background. This looks so gorgeous, but it opens up this way. I love that. So a little different than normal. And then here is a rose gold sheet. We have Edeby Designs. For more decorative planning, these have gold accents. Oh, this fell out. Um, you have your silver functional stickers. Rose gold functional boxes. Some gold lists and then just regular boxes. Silver lists. And you get things like reminder, goal, it's a plan on this. Rose gold um, circles. Again, loving these like peach backgrounds. Gold like quotes and just scripts. Silver boxes. Rose gold, more functional shapes gold boxes this one's really pretty silver boxes i'm sorry silver design and then that is everything in the sticker book so really love this i really just love the book itself i think it's gorgeous and I'm just in love with this design so much. Y'all will hear me say that in all these videos, but it's just so pretty. So those are stickers. We also have washi tape that will be available for, and I'm sorry, I don't know if I mentioned it. The sticker book will be $16.50. The washi tape will be, let's see, $8.50 for a four pack. And so you get a, I think that's rose gold, purple, like turquoise and purple, and then that'd be blue and like, pinkish in here. So we have those. All right, and then next up is actually a few snap-in accessories. So there's a new snap-in pocket dashboard, which seems very interesting. You get a set of three tabs, and it looks like you can put stuff in here. These will retail for, 
I don't see them in the book that they sent with all the prices, so I will have it, I'll try and list out the price below, but we'll go ahead and try these out in the canvas planner that they sent over. You of course also get your snap in mini bookmarks like you do every year. These mini bookmarks retail for $5.50 and you can use them to um, section out different parts of your planner. And then you also have this universal snap in dashboard with Chad's priorities and to do like you do every year and then a blank spot on the back with Monday through Sunday. And then this long dashboard will retail for $6.50. So we have that. And so let's look at these um, snap-in pocket dashboards before we go into the main large big item that is launching that I think everyone will be excited for. So here's what they look like. So you have three top tabs. You have a pocket up front and in the back to store things, which is really nice. And so if you're using your life planner, if you want to keep like yearly documents and keep track of like your year or actually I would say like probably here, um, like people track goals and accomplishments and things like that in here. So if you want to just snap these in to here and that way you can keep track of them more. Maybe if I can get it to snap in, let's see. Let's do, hmm. Okay. So here's what one tab looks like. And I started in so that it was centered. Um, and the first one is in between the first foil and the second. Let me show you what I mean. It's like, here's what it looks like in here. So I don't have it all the way up top like you would a bookmark. And that's just because it looks like it lines up like that on the bottom too. But here's the first one. And obviously it's not like fully sticking out. So it is like, it won't get bent as fast. So if you want to keep track of things in here and then be able to store stuff or even like use this to put in a dashboard or print photos out and store them, you can do that. And then like, let's say you wanna keep one in your monthly overview. We can do that. And that way too, it's a great bookmark that you can use to track wherever you're at. I'm probably gonna do this exact thing when I get my hourly. Um, which I will be purchasing on Life Planner Life Planner launch day. All right. So now I know where my year is at and I can easily flip in here. And if I'm tracking things, I can use this to track. I can flip to my monthly overview. Um, it's also nice too, because now I know like my tab will bring me to that monthly calendar view, right? And then this top tab will bring me into this overview. And then, you know, probably keep the last one somewhere in my notes. So if I'm like tra actually tracking something, I can put it back here and easily get to my notes section. So let's do that. Or if you want to just keep it throughout your weeks too and use it as a dashboard, if you need to store stuff with it, um, you can use it as that. I probably wouldn't just because then you block like half your week, right? If there's something in here. Um, and I think I would just use it to navigate around the rest of the planner. And these are really sturdy. I don't know if it's just me. There we go. All right, so now you have, let me take this off, your yearly overview. You can do your monthly overview. And then you have your notes, which you can now easily flip to as well. And then you can use the bookmark and go straight into your week. And the bookmark has not changed either, but that's what it looks like with the bookmark in as well and what the tabs look like in here. So really cool, really nice to customize. You also don't have to use all three. So we have that. 
And now for the large item. So this is the new Inspire Planner Folio. In the Inspire Design. And... When you open her up, you have all of this room. Um, you have like a sturdy like cardboard backing and you can fit all of your accessories in here. So you have this mesh section here, two pockets. You can hold four pens. There's also a space back here to hold something else, um, like stickers. And then you have a large pocket here and then a slot for your planner. So let's say we wanna put our new sticker book in here, take it with us on the go. We have some additional stickers because we love planning. We can put that in here. Um, let's take everything out of here. Let's say we want to add our new gel pen. We can do that. And let's see what else do we want to add in here. Um, we'll set our planner. So I'll show you all what the so my nine looks like, again, this is the 18 month now with tabs. So I'm very interested to see how this fits. So let's slide her in. We're gonna take out this perpetual planner and we're actually just gonna put it over here. And one of the, does it fit in one of these pockets? Yeah, it fits in this top pocket. So you can also probably fit a petite planner in there as well. So we have that. And then we have the planner. And so let's try and close her up. And I think it's too thick. Let's try and remove the pen. Mm. Yeah, I think that's way too thick. <laughs> and this is... The design for the 7x9. They also have one designed for the A5. Oh no, but this fits perfectly. So it does close up. I just had to remove the pen because it is pretty bulky. If you don't have an 18 month, I'm pretty sure it'll close with it. Um, or maybe if you have less of the dividers, but you can also always just like attach your pin to the coil, right? Um, I do wanna see what a seven by nine fits like in, or the A5 looks fits. Oh my God. How the A5 fits in the seven by nine, because I know there's people who use both and if you don't wanna buy both folios, um, I think it might be worth seeing. Plus, we might be able to fit our pin in here. So let's see if we want to just, you know, buy one and use both of our planners in it. I don't see why it wouldn't work. So yeah, that's in here. And of course now you have more space and yeah, you can definitely close it. So it's a regular stuff in my nine without a lot of stuff to fit in here, fine. Um, but yeah, like the pins in the pen folio and it closes fine in here and then you have a nice like little binder. This reminds me of like a Lisa Frank binder. Um, if you're a millennial, if you know, you know. Um, but just with like how you close it and all the stuff you can put in it, this is like bringing back flashbacks. But also like with the black spine, I don't know, it's just, that's what it reminds me of. Um, but yeah, that is everything. And I will do a pen test now with you guys. Um, but I, I'm absolutely in love with everything. I think it's so, Gorgeous, I love this design, it's just so pretty. And yeah, other than that, so that is gonna be it for this video. We'll just do a pen test at the end, so if you're not interested in that, um, feel free <laughs> to end the video here, and thank y'all for watching.